Whoa, hey guys, Triple Spicy here, coming to you live with some new Half-Life 2 playthrough. And I know what you guys are thinking. Pfft, yo, Triple Spicy, this game is so old, why are you playing Half-Life 2? And I'm like, you know what, I thought I'd give it a shot, you know, thought I'd give it the good old, the good old spin a you know, take it around. No, but what if I actually did an intro like that? But yeah, we're, we're playing Half-Life 2. Start a new game. I, I haven't beat this game. I got to a part where there's a boat, and I was like, it's a boat. So, yeah. Apparently that's the beginning of the game, too. So it's basically a first-time playthrough. Rise and shine, Mr. Freeman. Rise and shine. Not that I wish to imply you have been sleeping on... Is there subtitles? Hmm. Hmm. No subtitles. The job. No one is more deserving of a rest, and all the effort in the world would have gone to waste until. Well, let's just say your hour has come again. I guess you could say that. The right man in the wrong place can make all the difference in the world. So wake up, Mr. Freeman. Wake up and smell the ashes. Okay. I didn't see you get on. That's because you're blind. Gotcha. How's it going? What's in the what's in the box? Hmm. Well, end of the line. E Jesus. Welcome. Welcome to Sydney Seventeen. This game's pretty amazing for the year it came out. It came out, uh, 2009. Didn't actually come out in 2009. Hey. I'm gonna skip through the boring part. Because I played through this literally like 20 times. Wonder what these guys look like under their masks. Probably T Rex ish. Okay. I mean, ask yourself this Have you ever seen one of these guys and a T Rex in the same room at the same time? I don't think so. Okay. some privacy. Turns off the cameras, unzips his pants. Dude, are you able to do this in real life? I don't think so. Just jump over... Actually, I probably could. In real life, I'm like 10 feet tall, so... Yeah. But the downfall is I'm also 10 feet wide. So that sucks. But I'm, re I'm really good at cartwheels. Yeah, you and me so that's both, pretty Doc. good. He was about to board the express to Nova Prospect. Nova Prospect? What do you intend? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Oh. This is around here. I can't go to Nova Prospect. They'll kill me. Well, as long as he stays away from checkpoints, we should be okay. Yeah. Listen, I gotta go, Doc. We're taking enough chances as it is. Very well. And, uh, Gordon, good to see you. Thanks. Okay, Gordon. You're gonna have to make your own way to Dr. Kleiner's lab. I feel like... Oh, man, that's I feel like everybody talks to you in this game like you're mentally disabled. They're like, Okay, Gordon. Uh, safely walk over to... to Dr. Man. 
Okay. Bring your walkie-talkie. Just contact me if you need me. <laughs> Jesus. Looks like I really am 10 feet wide. <laughs> <clears throat> I want to go in there. I wonder what's in there. Probably an Easter egg. I remember this part. I don't wanna. I don't wanna. Come on. You convinced me. Dude, what the hell? I put it in. I just got that achievement. I don't know if you guys could see that, but I just got the achievement for putting the the can in the putting the can in the garbage. Apparently I've never done that before. I played through this I played through the beginning of the game like twenty times. I've never gotten through it. Jesus. No. No wonder everybody's so depressed. There's literally broken glass everywhere. Like, yeah. I'd be okay with these guys taking over the world. As long as they learn to sweep. Stop leaving blue bins everywhere. Right. I should really be more exploring. Well, I could just take the blue bin. I don't think people would be this friendly to each other in like the apocalypse. Actually, I don't know the lore too much. I don't know if this is the apocalypse. It's not like the apocalypse, but they're taking over the world, right? Right? a nice boot. I'm gonna name it I'm gonna name it Aiden. Aiden's a nice name for a boot. I don't know why, but this boot reminds me of an Aiden. Hey Hey, want some Chinese food? Cut it out. Hey, want some milk? No more. Why didn't you put the milk in the fridge? Do they even have a fridge? He's one of us. Do you go through here? I told you they'd be coming for us next. This is once I hope you're wrong. What are you supposed to do? <laughs> Jesus. I didn't know you could do that. Whoa, surf's up, dude. Dude, surf's up, bro. Calabunga, dude. This is so radical. Woo! Alright, that's enough of that. I'm not wearing knee pads. If my mom saw me, she would. She would, uh. I don't know. My mom's dead. So she'd probably do nothing. Hey. Everybody's so nice. Jesus. Get out of there. Oh. Oh. That guy said there's no time to lose. Watch this. There's plenty of times to lose. Okay. There's like four seconds I just lost. Okay. It's a big roof. Reminds me of Anne Frank. Because she had a roof. Also a diary. What did I just get shot from? On the ground? Oh, this game truly is beautiful. Honestly.
for my money, for my money, this is a beautiful game. Yes, he did. Hmm. Hey. Dr. Freeman, I presume. Yep. Morgan Freeman. You better hurry. The Combine can be slow to wake, but once they're up, you don't want to get in their way. Dr. Kleiner said you'd be coming this way. Oh I don't think it occurred this to him. This part of the game is so down. boring. Hmm. Oh my god. I just want to shoot people in the face. I'm just kidding. I like this part. I'm sure you don't remember me though. Yeah, I remember you. Man, a few words, aren't you? Yeah. Tell that barrel lesson. Like Mesa, your old administrator. <laughs> don't get my dad started on Dr. Breen. Through here. Bye bye. Oh, Funny you showing up on this day in particular. Tuesday. Tomorrow's a wing day. You know what that means? He's gonna feel bad because I don't have any wings. What a I'm rebel. People escape the city on foot. It's a Stairs right here, just lab. jumps over. That man. character development, I'm like, I'm like, Alex? Today that's her name, I think. Alex? She life. doesn't like stairs. Now I know. Character development, Anybody plus one for Half-Life 2. Plus one for Half-Life 2. One plus two equals three. Oh, and by the way, nice Half-Life 3 confirmed, guys. And girls, I don't judge. Where did she get to? Hey. Lamar, come out of there. Uh-oh, everything all right, Dr. Kleiner? Oh, hello, Alex. Well, uh, almost all right. Lamar has gotten out of her crate. Wait a minute, the head crab I is a female named Lamar? Isn't Lamar a guy's name? I mean, if you're a female named Lamar out there, I don't mean to offend you. But I feel like Rio Lamar's a guy's name. Even if trouble does tend to follow in his wake. I must say, Gordon, you come at a very opportune time. Alex has just installed the final piece for our resurrected teleport. I can't take any credit for the breakthrough, Doctor. Nonsense. Your talents. I feel like I'm in Star Wars. <laughs> Let's just see if this thing works, okay? Well, is it here? There you are. Man, Watch. Gordon, you stirred up the Kalabongo. Slam dunk. We can't keep him here long, Doc. It'll jeopardize everything we've worked for. Don't worry, he's coming with me. Uh, that's right, Barney. This uh, is a careful, red letter sir. day. We'll inaugurate the new teleport with a double transmission. You mean it's working? For real this time? Because I still have nightmares about that cat. No, no. There's nothing to be nervous what about. Cat? We've made major strides since then. Major strides. What cat? What cat? Since he's not taking the streets, he might have what cat? out of his city. Hmm? What? what cat? Oh dear, you're right. I almost forgot. Barney, I'll give you the honor. Look at this I setup. I gotta get back on my shift. But God okay. damn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen monitors. Here we go. God damn. Ah, damn it, get it off me. Lamar. Lamar. Certainly not. Never fear, Gordon. She's debeat and completely harmless. The worst she might do is attempt to couple with your head fruitlessly. Get that thing away from me. Here, yeah, my pet. Hop up. Go up, no, up. Not up there. No, no. Careful, Lamar. Those are quite fragile. Oh, fine. It'll be another week before I can coax her out of there. Yeah. Longer if we're lucky. <laughs> Why is Barney such an asshole? Like Kleiner, I think this guy's name. He's well, like, oh Gordon, no, my 
head is stuck in the vent. Guys, help. And he's like, should be in the vent. No one cares about it, Kleiner. That's not his name. I'm going to be really embarrassed. Well, Gordon, I see your HEV suit still fits you like a glove. Yep. At least the glove parts do. What if they were like gloves that don't fit you, though? Huh? Huh? Now, let's see. Alright, well, this is, a, this is good. The Mark At least we're recycling. Environment suit has been redesigned right. for comfort if I, and utility. If I put this here. Oh, put that there. Meanwhile, let's there get the show on the road. Put this on top. Put this on top. God damn it. Okay, if I if I put this sideways. And then you put, you put this, you put this sideways on the sideways thing. Oh. Alright. Put this sideways on here. And you squint your eyes and look closely. From far, from really far away. It looks like, um, looks like an orange circle on a gray box. A gray rectangle. You have to look closely, though, while squinting. You have to closely squint while you're the box. You have to become a cactus. You have to go onto your box as your cactus. And you have to squint at the asshole. You have to squint your asshole at my cactus until I become a box. You have to turn your asshole into a box and squint your cactus into a cat. How much does Morgan Freeman weigh? Sorry, I said Morgan Freeman. Look at this, I'm just jumping on the light. It's not even like make a noise. Jeez. Probably because I was jumping on the light. I got it. Can I do it, pretty please? Oh. Get ready to rumble! And then she died. Well, yeah. did it work? See for yourself. Hey, Doc. <sighs> Thank goodness. My relief is almost palpable. Fantastic work, is it? Well, I can't take all the credit. Dr. Freeman proved an able assistant. Let's go ahead and bring Gordon through now. Right you are. Speak to you again in a few moments. All right. Good job, Gordon. Throwing that switch and all. I can see your MIT education really pays for itself. You're all a right, dumb Gordon. asshole. Your turn. Gee, thanks. See, I don't get why everybody talks to you like you're mentally retarded. I mean, mentally disabled. My bad. Good job, Gordon. You flip the switch. I have a cookie. Initialize. Anyways, part two coming soon. Get ready to rumble. Bye-bye.